up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i will make a small video on how to stop gossiping yes 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 that the other day i made a video on what happens if you gossip you are destroying your mercury yes but then somebody asked me your video is very good excellent as usual but you didn't tell us how to stop gossiping <laughs> So I thought why not make a video on how to stop gossiping. Yes, so that's very important because it is not proper for us to gossip about anybody. <laughs> Alright, so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it somewhere here there below. And if you want a consultation, then approach me through my website below. And if you want me to make any other video, then please let me know in the comments. Yes, alright. And before I begin, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him yes 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 so basically what's gossip gossip is talking about things that will not give you fulfillment in the long run yes for example who is having an affair with whom yes which cricketer got married to which film star yes how many likes that person got in their profile photo in facebook yes how many followers that person has in Instagram? Yes. Who got divorced? Whose son went abroad? Yes. <laughs> Who got the latest iPhone in the company? Yes. Who got the most beautiful girl in the college? These all useless rubbish discussions come under gossip. Everything basically. All the garbage of this world. In scriptures, this is known as Gramya Katha. In Chaitanya Charitamrit, it is warned. Gramya Katha Nashunibo. This is there in Bengali. That means do not delight in hearing or speaking useless garbage that cannot give you fulfillment in the long run. Because in the scriptures, this gossip is said like poison. Yes, it's like Arahu. It's like Ketu. Poison means it sucks away your happiness. See, basically, what happens? Who does gossip? Let us understand first. Who does gossip at all? Basically, who is doing gossip? The one, the person who has nothing to do. Yes, the person who has no goal, no aim, no direction, no fulfillment in life. One whose spiritual acumen is zero or maybe minus. <laughs> yes, how does it matter who is having an affair? With whom? Who is having a breakup? Who had a divorce? Why are you discussing? Because you like to talk about them. Yes, very much. Because why? You have nothing else to talk. <laughs> that is why you are doing gossip. Because you do not have anything else to do. So the remedy for gossip is, I mean, yes, you can do different mantras and all that. That will depend on the horoscope. I am not going to that. But what I am saying here is, the biggest remedy for gossip is, is very simple. Find something that you like to do in your spare time. Yes, that's the first thing. Suppose you like to play the guitar. So whenever you have free time, play the guitar. Learn to play the guitar. You can go on YouTube. If you like to play the harmonium, search for tunes in YouTube. There are so many, hundreds and thousands of millions. If you like to sing bhajans, sing. If you like to draw, then draw. If you like to paint, then paint. If you like to make videos like me, <laughs> And upload it to YouTube then do it yes if you like to travel do it whatever you like to do do it and then the second thing is stop meeting those people who are doing gossip should I repeat stop meeting those people who are doing gossip because in scriptures it is said you cannot say or you cannot claim that you will touch water but you will not get wet Yes, which means if you put your hand inside garbage, the garbage will st stick to your hand also. So even if you don't gossip, if you meet other people who are gossiping, yes, then it's not going to work out because they will pull you. Yes. Now, if you are spiritually so strong that nothing of this world affects you, yes, then maybe it won't. But most of us are not at that stage, right? At least I am not. I don't know about you. <laughs> So we have to ensure that we guard our ears from those people who are sp spilling poison inside. Yes. 
oh i know how she got the promotion maybe she is having an affair with the boss yes that's how they say right oh i saw na he went out with this girl they did this they did that i mean come on man is their life why are you so interested <laughs> yes so we have to make sure that we avoid the company or the association of these people because if somebody is gossiping to you about somebody else then 100% take it in writing that person will gossip about you to somebody else should i repeat if somebody is gossiping to you about somebody else then that person will gossip about you to somebody else is it understood <laughs> so we have to be very careful because then we can't reveal anything because we may feel that we are revealing some uh, some of our close things of our heart to that person and that person will say no no i will not tell anybody i will only uh, keep it to myself but it doesn't work that way. if the person is going and telling you that this person did this that person did that then 1000 million percent the moment you say something to them then they will go and tell it to somebody else and then if you counter question them they will say oh no 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 i didn't say this no that person said like that they will keep going you uh, making you going round and round and round in circles he said this she said that oh my god that's it you'll be like forget it who said what <laughs> and then your image is tarnished your reputation is tarnished yes you will speak something and they will magnify it has it ever happened you spoke something and then when it came back to you it became something else so be very careful from these people but the question is how to avoid these people yes you may not be able to physically avoid them but do not entertain them for example if they are speaking uh, gossiping about somebody to you be be very disinterested use your mobile <laughs> that's what i do i just use my mobile i will be like mm, mm, okay mm, acha nice good <laughs> so then they understand this person is not interested in the garbage so then what they will do they will find somebody else to whom they can go and dump this garbage yes then they will not come to you don't worry but if you are like oh what happened who is having an affair oh she is getting married but she had a boyfriend now how is she marrying this person oh maybe she is an nri oh sorry maybe he is an nri or maybe she is somebody daughter of a millionaire oh my goodness tell me more if you behave like this then they uh, then you will become their favorite favorite uh, dustbin yes any time they feel like talking to somebody they will come and talk to you and they will be like oh do you know that happened or oh, do you know this happened <laughs> okay so that's the second uh, thing which you need to do first thing is stop uh, first thing you need to do is you need to find some activity which you like doing and in your free in your idle time you should do all those yes any hobby which you have the second thing is you need to avoid these people who are spreading poison because then they will spread poison about you also and what's the third thing third is the most 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 important person Uh, thing which you need to do is you need to associate with those people who are spiritually well connected yes you need to visit holy people in the weekends if you are working or if at least in a month once <laughs> you need to read the divine scriptures when you read it you will understand that everybody can have flaws in this world nobody is perfect yes everybody will do some mistakes everybody will do some blunders somewhere so then you need to visit holy places you need to go to holy programs it doesn't matter which religion you are following it can be anything you may be a hindu or a muslim or a christian or a sikh or zoroastrian it doesn't matter find out a religious community and then go and try to attend the programs in the weekends which they have so many temples are there these days in india especially so many spiritual communities are there we can go and associate ourselves in those communities by that what happens we find fulfillment in higher things yes as lord krishna says in the gita that rasavarjam rasopyastva param drishtva nivartate which means when the living entity seeks happiness contentment fulfillment and joy in spirituality yes param drishtva in higher things then the lower things of this world doesn't matter okay so that's the most important thing we need to focus on our spiritual practices then we will be very grounded and then we will have inner fulfillment inner contentment inside us by which we do not feel like gossiping yes because gossip is considered to be like a garbage 
and if we are gossiping we are like the crow who keeps going and searching for garbage yes so we can focus on our spiritual practices doing mantras in the morning or evening whichever is recommended by your uh, mentor by your guru yes or by your counselor by or by the astrologer and then when you are doing that and you are reading the scriptures and meeting holy people taking enlightenment from sadhus by that what happens you will feel very happy naturally yes and then you will not want to do all this nonsense gossiping about who who did what yes and then the last thing that you need to do is share spiritual wisdom with others see if people find that you are not sharing anything positive by default they will share negativity with you yes so the third thing is you take spiritual enlightenment and the fourth thing is you give spiritual knowledge to others yes so for example if i go to a mundane party or a mundane circle yes where there is some topic of discussion going on no body will dare to come and gossip with me about somebody because they know the moment they start gossiping about somebody to me i will start speaking of the scriptures so when they are around me they will feel that vibration yes that this person is operating at a different frequency so the same vibration they should feel about you yes if they can feel that about me why can't they feel it about you yes so then they will be like oh we will not go near this person because this person doesn't like gossip yes so by this what happens they will not invite you for their program only so your problem is solved <laughs> okay so that's what i wanted to say four tips to cut off gossip from your life should i repeat four tips to eliminate or eradicate gossip from your life what's the first thing don't stay idle do what you like your hobbies in your idle time in your free time okay because if you're staying idle then idle mind is a devil's workshop then the second thing is stop associating with those people who are doing gossip all right and the third is cultivate spiritual knowledge and the fourth is whenever you meet somebody talk of god talk of the scriptures talk of divine knowledge athato brahma jigyasa why not why to talk of who uh, is uh, wearing what clothes yes in the movies but nowadays they they, they are not wearing much clothes so there is not much to discuss right <laughs> or who won the cricket match because they will anyways win it either you discuss or you don't yes so it's such a waste of time to discuss about all the useless rubbish and garbage of this world and instead we should focus on what lord krishna has said param drishtva nivartate asavarjam rasopyastva param drishtva nivartate param means higher so when we obtain higher taste using uh, spirituality then all these lower tastes you will lose interest to hear gossip of this world hear about the beautiful past times of lord ram about krishna if you are from a christian then go and study your christian uh, literatures yes go and study the bible if you are a muslim then so many books are there yes go and study them about so many people in the islamic trad- tradition and then the last thing you need to do is spread spiritual knowledge by that people will understand oh he is not interested in all because the moment he will come near us he will start speaking about bhagavatam about gita about astrology he is not interested in all this who won the cricket match or who is getting married to whom all right and if you do not do all this then you will become like another garbage thrash can where they will come and dump the gossip in your ears all right that is it from my side if you are new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation approach me through my website and if you want me to make any other video then <laughs> please gossip in my ears also okay that is it from my side wish you good luck in fighting with gossip so the four techniques which i have said you can use it and spread spiritual knowledge by that all the gossip of this world will be eradicated okay that is it from my side bye bye see you